Hello guys, this is Brian here with a video. Uh, I wanted to make this video for the longest time, almost two years, and I never really got around making the video uh, for some odd reason. or got put off and forgot about it sometimes, who knows. Um, and really this video is for anyone who wants to file an appeal with their insurance carrier or um, or in the process of filing an appeal. If you haven't done already, you need to get your medical records. That is a key thing to have medical records. Uh, I'm talking about filing appeals or anything, weight loss surgery, reconstructive surgery, or anything that involves an appeal. You need your medical records, right? That really is helpful. Uh, now, usually things like weight loss surgery and reconstructive surgery or anything that require medical review, hopefully the doctor sent the medical records off to the insurance company. Hopefully. You know, sometimes things get lost and sometimes the doctor's offices don't do their damn job, right? But if they did, you can request those medical records free of charge. Now, if you request them from the doctor, most likely they will charge you like $25 or more to get medical records. Well, there's a trick to get them for free. And that's with your insurance carrier. Now, I'm just speaking with Blue Cross Blue Shield, what they call, what their little form is called. It's called Request to Access Protected Health Information, PHI. And you can request all your medical records that they have, billing, claims, EOBs, prescription drugs, vision, mental health, what have you. You can also ask them to include the diagnosis codes that what they have on file for you. It's interesting to find out what the doctor's diagnosing you with. Um, and this is what the form looks like. And bottom. You get the sign, of course. Um, Blue Cross is a charge. I don't believe any other insurance carrier does um, that I'm aware of. Um, you know, of course, they may, but Blue Cross hasn't so far. But, um, but get the medical records. You need to have your medical records to file an appeal. It, it's really helpful on your part. Uh, because when it goes to medical review, either a nurse reviews it or a medical doctor actually reviews it, depending on what kind of pill it is. Well, if the medical doctor does, you know, reviews it and has all your medical records, that explains your situation. Now, like I said, hopefully the doctor did their part of sending the stuff to them. Um, you know, like weight loss surgery, reconstructive surgery, or plastic surgery, Botox injections for ha headaches, you know, stuff like that, that does require medical records to be sent for them to do the review process at the insurance company. Um, most of the time, those type of things are not really um, approved without any documentation whatsoever. Um, that I, I know of. Maybe Medicare, I guess, but... Um, but private insurance companies like Blue Cross, Aetna, United, you know, they, they have to have medical documentation to do the review. And for some odd reason, if you get denied, call them up or look on their website and tell them you want to have access to your protected health information. You want your medical records, all of it. Prior authorizations for this. Diagnosis codes. Everything that they have on file. And usually when they... Uh, it takes about a month. Blue Cross takes about, about a month. And they will send you a thick envelope of stuff. <laughs> All your stuff. Um, like I said, if you, uh, it's called Request to Access Protected Health Information, PHI. Um, Blue Cross has this form to fill out. I don't know what other insurance companies, if they require a form to actually be uh, filled out or just a letter from you. Um most likely a form because you have to put your ID number. Your uh, now it says social security number. I have never put my social security number on these forms, and they still process it. Um, in matter of fact, one time when I did request it, they did call me and let me know, "Hey, we did get your form. You know, we get your request, and it be sent out." Um, 
mine came by UPS because it was pretty hefty. <laughs> it was like 200 small pages. Um, no more, actually. Uh, that's when I did an appeal for my um, um, thigh, thigh surgery. Uh, excess skin to removed because um, I requested everything. I, I actually requested everything that Blue Cross had on its font, on its books. Even though I had the medical records myself from all the doctors, you, you, you know, um, they were nice enough to give me those for free of charge. But every once in a while, you will run into a doctor that wants to charge you, 50, you know, twenty some odd dollars for medical records, and you know that's that is the biggest rip off. It's not like they used to do in the in the old days where they had to go to the copy machine and you know Xerox one page after one, you know, after another after another. Nowadays, it's all on computers. All they have to do is push a print button on the computer and it spits them out. <laughs> you, you know, um, it, it it's really a ripoff fee, um, but but this is a good trick and a good tool for people to have to do their appeals process. Um, I always believe that people, you know, people who have health insurance have the right, and they do. To know their appeals process, what tools are at their disposal, what to do in the appeal, um, go through the entire appeal process. Bug the hell out of the insurance company. Don't feel guilty of doing that. Call them up every single day to bug them. You pay them money. Make them work for you. You, you give them money out of your own pocket to pay a premium, or even out of your paycheck to pay a premium. Bug the hell of them. If they're even one day late or one day past the appeals deadline, call them up and raise hell. Do that. Now, of course, don't 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 cuss the person out on the phone. I'm not saying that. You know, don't don't be yelling and screaming, and cussing them out. Obviously, I mean, be nice to the person. Um, but you know, tell tell them I I want to speak to the supervisor. I want to know why you. Or past 30 days in the pills process, you breaking state law here, blah 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 blah. Um, and if you do file an appeal and it revolves a whole bunch of pieces of paper, you know, tons of medical records, send it priority mail with signature. Um, that's probably the cheapest way. I, somewhere around there, with certified mail or uh, priority mail. Um, that's how I did mine, because mine got too crazy to fax. I mean, that's too many pages to fax. Um, yeah, porty mail with the, you know, uh, padded envelope from the post office. I think if you do certified mail, it costs more because the weight of it. Um, and get a signature. Now, um, I don't know why this is with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Texas. Uh, I, I don't know if in the last decade or so I have I have been with Blue Cross for almost twenty some odd years. I mean, I had it. My parents had it. And I had it as a child, and then when I worked for a company, we had it, and I still have Blue Cross Blue Shield. So you know, I've been pretty you know lifelong customer almost. Well, you know, with the Blue Cross system. Uh, you you know it's on the form it says Chicago Illinois. That's where Healthcare Service Corporation is located. Who owns Blue Cross Blue Shield Texas? So I don't know. I have noticed this. I don't know if they've been trying to get everything centralized, and it goes to Illinois, uh, or certain things are handled in the actual state. Um, but call your insurance company up, ask them for the form to fill out, and and get all your stuff. Uh, you know, diagnosis codes, authorizations, and everything. Everything. Um, because sometimes that diagnosis codes make a difference in things. Um, you know, for maybe, so for some reason, some I mess a step in not diagnosing you as morbid obese when it's required for that diagnosis to have a weight loss surgery, obviously. Or, uh, or maybe a comorbidity to have weight loss surgery is too big diagnosed with hypertension or sleep apnea, something like that. And, you know, your weight loss surgeon or whoever sends you medical records to the <laughs> insurance company and didn't, and didn't see the, and didn't send that as a diagnosis. It happens. It happens every day. 
Uh, so this is just a little trick that might help you someday. Um, but and some people don't understand when it goes through a medical review process it, it, it is reviewed by a medical physician or a medical doctor at the insurance company well if they don't have all the necessary documents because what they do is they have your medical records in front of them and they have the insurance company's guidelines well does, does this patient meet the medical criteria to have this particular procedure a, B, C, D, E, F, G. You know, they go line by line. You know, is this patient back diagnosed to, with the diagnosis to meet this criteria? Yes. Does this patient been treated for a certain amount of time? You know, some medical treatments that require medical review, you have to be treated for a certain amount of time, like chronic migraine, for instance, with my Botox injections. You have to be diagnosed for a certain amount of time. That's another key factor. Um, does this patient has this patient been on therapeutic medications or failed on this particular stuff before we can approve this particular procedure? Yes, no, you, you know, go down the list. Um, it is also helpful for you to also review the insurance company's medical guidelines. They should be able to tell you them. Uh, I call them up and ask them, and I, and I actually. Finally, not too, but a couple of years ago, I would say about five when I had my gastric bypass or so a little bit more, I found the link to Blue Cross's medical guidelines, and it's available to the public. It's nothing secret. Um, medical guidelines or clinical guidelines, what you, what, what you want to call them, is what the insurance company uses to say yes or no to certain things. Now, also, um, by that point, uh, anything in your policy book kind of supersedes that almost like for instance if there's any contract exclusions or limitations that overrides their clinical guidelines not always some people have got success for that you know so always read your policy books Just check on the insurance company's clinical guidelines print them off um, and when you do an appeal, uh, copy and paste it. You know, <laughs> you you know the more stuff on your letter when you do an appeal and medical records, the more power you have. And you can say in the letter like, "I filed an appeal due to blah 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 blah. Uh, I do meet your medical criteria. Blah blah blah. Here's the medical criteria and list your reasons." Um, don't give up. A lot of people just give up and go away. No, don't go away. Don't give up. Fight like hell. Um, ever since really Obamacare really got kicked in, uh, insurance companies used to be really bad, but now it's really, really get worse. You have to fight them t uh, tooth and nail to get them to do something, to cover something. Um, so just don't give up. Know your appeal rights. Uh, know your independent review organization appeal rights. Uh, go through the whole entire thing. Don't give up. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Don't go away. And if you call them up and you ask them what your appeal process is, if that person doesn't know, get off a supervisor. Then what you need to do is, if that person doesn't know on the phone who's in customer service, get their name the time and date you called and make a written complaint because ultimately that means they're violating your um, rights violating your pill rights they are the insurance company should employees should be able to tell you what your pill rights are and if you still not satisfied you really need to file a complaint with the department of insurance in your state so they can look into why their employees are not telling customers what their appeal processes are and their appeal rights. So ultimately, they can look at it like this. They're violating your appeal rights if they don't know, if they can't tell you what they are, or if they tell you wrong. Um, always write down the time, date, 
who you spoke with. Always. If you can, record the call. I do. It's easy. Record it on the cell phone. But don't tell them that. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> um, so, this is just a little video. You can't get too long. <laughs> Talk to y'all later.